Good afternoon, everybody. By the way, thanks to V. Thank you so much for all the times you spent uh, in worship. We really appreciate it. Um, Anthony Walton just arrived from attending a pastoral internship, a pastoral internship uh, in Cincinnati, Ohio. And so, as part of his internship, I asked him to do the uh, welcome announcement to do the prayer and all that. Anthony Walton. Uh, I heard a little buzz. Good morning, everyone. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I remember when Pastor Burmy told me I was going to do the announcements. I was thinking, this is how everyone here knows I'm serious about being a pastor. <laughs> so, um, I just want to give you guys a quick update with that whole um, pastoral internship conference that I went to. First of all, I want to thank you guys so much for supporting me. Because whether or not you knew it, you did support me. You paid for my flight there. And that's mostly what cost the most out of everything. And then Greg Williams supplied all the rest. But thank you guys so much for giving so generously and so graciously to me so I could go there, so I could attend there. Because when I was there, I learned so much. Because when I was there, what, it, uh, what that conference is, is an annual gathering of all the pastors in GCI, or as many that can go, and all the interns. And so the attendance there was like 25-ish. There was like... Um, there's like half pastors and then half interns. And I remember standing in front of all these pastors and I was just thinking that, wow, there's almost two centuries worth of experience in pastoring here. And so, <laughs> and so I was really just awestruck by that. And so the entire time I was there, I was spending all of my time networking with all these people who either didn't know me or knew me by who my dad is or who Pastor Burmy is. And so I was just getting my name out there as well as just like trying to soak up as much wisdom and just information and just knowledge from all these pastors who have been at it for 30, 40 years. And so they know a lot of pitfalls, a lot of mistakes they made. And so I want to try to hit the ground running when I become a pastor one day. And so this was really useful and really helpful and really encouraging and really edifying for me to go to. And so I just want to thank you guys. Give you a round of applause for helping me. <laughs> and now I'm going to come before you in the most humble and gracious way because I am an intern who is not paid, a student who is not working, so I have almost no money. And I need you guys to help me one more time. <laughs> for those of you who can, there is another conference coming up in Orlando. It is for the it's once every three years. It's for anyone who's in GCI. If you want to go, you can. And it's just this gigantic conference where you can go and you can take different tracks. I'm going to go there. I'm going to take a Gen Mitten track where GCI is part of um, things called Generations Ministry. And that just has to do with reaching out youth. And I think um, SEP is a part of Gen Mitten, right? If anyone else? Yes. And so I'm going to be attending that. And then I'm going to look into any other tracks there because there's a lot of tracks like for pastors to go there whether they want to just be like oh I want to learn how to church plan or I want to learn better how to talk to people who are like addicted to drugs or I want to help people who are in this situation or this and so there's a lot of tracks to really help develop seasoned pastors or pastoral interns like myself and so that is happening in, or uh, in Orlando on August 1st right August 1st and it costs a thousand dollars for me to go there, and so far I've gotten six hundred dollars. So I only need four hundred dollars left. So if any of you can give, I would appreciate it so much. And if you can't, just know you're praying for me is more than enough because prayers are really what's most important. Because this entire way through, I've just been walking in on just God's grace and just really hoping and just really praying and just really relying on God's provision. So if you can, thank you so much. And if you can just pray for me, hey, that's just as good as giving. So, let's get on to the announcements. Um, oh, the reason also why I'm giving the announcements this morning is Pastor Burmy is leaving in a few minutes to bring his wife to the airport because she's going to Colorado to see Amelia, that's Carmel's baby. And so she's going to be there for, I think, about a week or two? Ten days. For ten days, so like a week and three days. And she's just going to be there, and so Pastor Burmy has to leave in five minutes. So I'm doing this, getting some practice in. Letting you guys know I'm serious about being a pastor. <laughs> and so, um, are there any guests here today? I don't know. I didn't see anyone new walk in. <laughs> oh, yes. We have a guest over here. This is Esther. 
Mr. and Mrs. Ferrer. Oh, hi, welcome. I always love to see our church growing in numbers, and if there's no one else, I don't know. Oh, there's someone over here. Who's this? This is my boyfriend, Robbie. Welcome to America, Robbie. We're really glad that you're here. Because on a serious side, there was a little difficulty with him coming into the country, and we're all really praying that he would get in safely without any hassle, and he did, right? There was no hassle? No yeah, hassle so. at all. So all right. for your prayers. All right, amen. And so that's really great that you're here. We love having you here. We can't wait for you to just join us in fellowship, whether we're doing something out as a group or just individually. We love you. All right. <laughs> All right, and then I don't believe there are any birthdays that happen or that are coming up this week. Oh, there's Pastor Nilo. He's not here, but so happy birthday to Pastor Nilo. Yay. He's in our thoughts and our, he's in, with us in spirit. And then, for those of you who don't know, who don't have a Facebook, yesterday was Carmel's birthday. So, yay for Carmel. <laughs> um, let's see. This coming um, June 29th, oh, that's right, June 29th, we have a union station opportunity for us to help feed the homeless. We still need four more people to help, to just volunteer. And if you have any questions about it, like the timing, where exactly it is, how to get there, just talk to us, Steve, over here and he'll hook you up with all the information you need. Um, let's see. Oh, and then there's um, some SCP prayer requests since everyone knows how much work Anne and Mark put into SCP. They spend an entire year working on it and just like preparing and making sure it's just as good as it can be and really relying on God. So um, please pray for just all the training that's gonna be coming up in like two weeks for all the staff and just for Mark and Anne. Um, pray for all the campers so they can be ready to receive God's word. And so they're just, they come in with just a really willing heart and just a really softened heart. And even those that come in with a, really like a guard up in a wall that they'll just be broken down by the Holy Spirit and they'll just really be touched by him there. And of course, always keep in your prayers, just Mark and Anne, because they work so hard for this and it wouldn't be possible if it weren't for them because SCP California is really their baby and they're doing a really great job with it. And then, oh, and then mark your calendars because on August 25th, I didn't know about this, at Huntington Beach we're going to have um, a church picnic. Or a church, yeah, a church picnic at 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then Abel and Jelly, I believe, are, <laughs> maybe they didn't know. Someone's organizing this. I, will, I, was, I was told that, I was told it was Abel and Jelly. And so, if not, you can always talk to me and then I'll find out who's actually organizing it. <laughs> And, yeah, and, um, yeah, so let's, um, let's go to God in prayer, and we'll lift up anyone who's in our thoughts, and, all right. Heavenly Father, Lord God, thank you so much for just being here, thank you for this day that we just get to spend in fellowship with each other and with you, Lord. Thank you for all the speakers that will be up here, just delivering your words, God. I pray that they will touch people here, and they will really help change and just improve their lives, Father. But right now, we just lift up to you any and all people who are just in need of you right now, God. Thank you, Lord God, for hearing our prayers. And even for those we didn't say, you still hear it. They're in our hearts, they're in our minds, Lord. And they're in yours too, Father. We thank you, we praise your name. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Oh, one more thing before I forget. Um, new Hope is trying to do this new um, teen drop-in thing where every few weeks, like every, I think it's like every two weeks on a, I think on a Thursday since it's summertime, um, they have this thing called Teen Drop-in where um, Fred Stevens is leading it, where any teen or any youth who wants to go, I'm going to be there to help, um, uh, what's the word, chaperone it. And any teen that wants to go can go. Um, you just go out there, I think, for like, it's like about an hour each time they have it. And you just like go, you hang out, you just talk with each other. It's just like a chance to fellowship with other Christians or even non-Christians if they want to go. If you want to invite your friends, you're welcome to. You're just going to be like hanging out, playing like a sport or playing a game. And then you'll end up like talking, maybe eating a snack and just hanging out. It's just something nice to keep 
are two churches really bonded together, the youth. And so that's coming up. And then I believe that was everything. Yeah. And Oh, and then, um, yeah, no, that's everything. They're doing that. And so if you want to go to that, you can always ask me. I'll give you more information about it. Or you can ask uh, Melinda, who I think is helping with it. And then you can always just message Fred or Marianne Stevens. And so now I think we're going to have a video from Joseph Tkach.